Okay, I'm finished with my animation. I did add one more piece. So the whole thing right now ends right here. If I hit Control Play, you'll see the ending that fades out, and then the movie ends right here. Okay, what I could also do is I could have this this animation, these pieces, fly away at the end. And I might do that in a future, um, just add it on to the end. But right now, I just need to save what I have and publish a movie. So to publish the movie you do control test movie test which is control enter on your keyboard and you publish your flash movie. Now what I did was is yours might not look like this I turned on my bandwidth profiler. Normally when you publish your movie you'll just see something like this but you can turn on your bandwidth profiler to get information about the size and and how big your file is how big your movie is and where things happen in the movie and on what frame how many kilobytes are on each frame of your movie and so to do that when I did that let me stop this um, I found out that the size of my movie is 693 kilobytes so what I might need is I might need a preloader on my movie so that it lets people know hey you've reached this web page but um, the content is loading so for those people who have slow slower internet speeds they don't have a lot of bandwidth. They know that they're at the right place. They just have to wait a few seconds to get the content. So to do that, what I'm going to do is Flash has some templates that you can use to figure out how to do that. If you go to File, New, and you go down to, um, if you go from General over to Templates, right, from General over to Templates and go to Sample Files, you'll see here that there are some um, two preloader sample files that you can use. This one's called preloader for Swift and um, this one's called preloader for external file. I've opened both of these already okay and I've got them open in these other windows. This is a preloader for external file and it's got the code that you need right here and then this is a preloader for um, an internal file basically and it's got also the code right here so it's ready to go. Now for this one so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically take this, highlight the action script layer. I'll go to Window, Actions, and I'm going to copy all of this code. Control C on my keyboard. I'll copy that code. And now I'll go back to my other movie, and I've made a layer at the top here, right? Called Actions. I made a new layer. Um, just like that, make a new layer. I named it Actions by double clicking on here and then naming it Actions. And I've got a keyframe on frame one, and I'm going to highlight that first keyframe on this new layer and paste the code. All right. Now, code's there, it's ready to go. So that looks pretty good. Um, I'll stretch this out so we can see it a little better. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this movie starts right here and what I want to do is I want to move the frames where my movie starts so I'm going to highlight that first animation and just move it over one frame so now on the first frame of the movie there's no uh, animation happening no objects on the stage just my pre-code now what I can do is I can go over to that file again and if I wanted to I can grab this movie clip um, or I can get this text box and I'm gonna get this text box right here right which I'm gonna need for my preloader so I'll just take this text box which is uh, dynamic text classic text and it's got an instance name of percent underscore text so this is kind of a, an important little piece right here percent underscore text that's its instance name I need this sucker right here so I'll just copy that and back to my other movie I will make a new layer on top always have a new layer and highlight that keyframe and paste it so there it is right in my new movie right so now if I hit control enter right you can see here that it says 100 percent all I have to do is go view download settings let's say 56k let's try DSL or 56k and say view simulate download and we'll see if it works okay there's a percentage you can see if you had dial-up 
they would get a percentage um, right there showing that the movie is in fact loading now when this thing ends this is going a little too slow for me so I'm gonna go to view download settings DSL and say view simulate download and you can see here that when we get to 100 percent we want to see what's going to happen what we want it to do is to jump to frame two when it gets to 100 percent and start playing our our intro movie so it gets to 100 percent but it didn't jump to frame two so let's go look at the code and what I also want to do is I want to put a blank keyframe. Once this percentage sign has um, completed, we jump. We want to jump to frame two and start playing. We don't want to see that anymore. So I'm going to insert a blank keyframe here. It's a quick way of just getting rid of that. So let's look at the code, and we'll say it says function on complete. All right. I'm looking here. On complete, go to and play two. That looks good. Save, publish settings, check our publish settings here. Everything looks good. Let's do control enter and view bandwidth profiler let's check the download setting up to a t1 line and go view simulate download there's the downloader the preloader running and after it runs we see that we get the animation we wanted so you can turn off the preloader so there it is there's your intro movie with a preloader um, but there's still a lot to do